How's the headliner? Oh, it is. Oh, that's nice. Flawless. Hey! Hey, 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 hey. Easy. You haven't bought this thing yet. Does it always sound like that? How much you got to get for this $5,000 car? Mm. Gotta be in there somewhere. I saw it. There it is. Oh, those look so cool. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Wow, so, that looks so much better than I even expected. I'm not, I'm not selling it to you. Get out of my car. Does it come with a free magazine? No. Come on. <laughs> so remember when we thought we fixed the rear main seal on our big block Mopar? <laughs> well, we didn't <laughs> because the next day we came into the shop, there was like a small pool of oil underneath this thing again. Yeah. So, Danny basically spent four days after that just trying to fix it, and... Yeah, so here are all the seals that I went through trying to seal up the big block Mopar. Uh, we got here the fast fish seal, that didn't work. We got this fail pro right here with the black, that didn't work. We got this 440 source Viton, Viton rear main seal that was supposed to fix the problem, that didn't work. So we went with a fail pro high pressure seal for a Hemi, I guess it is. It's like a little thicker. And that seems to be doing the trick so far. Yeah. So we're gonna pull it out, run it again, and just triple check. And we're gonna run it longer this time. We got a little radiator system here we're gonna test out. And we'll show you how that works in a bit. It's mobile. Yep. And we also have our little janky muffler system. Oh yeah. Right here. You guys remember these? Well, we uh, kind of customized them a little bit more. And we got them <laughs> fully welded onto this <laughs> muffler. We're going to pull it outside and see how it sounds with exhaust on it. Yeah, should quiet it down some. And then once we're done running this, that'll be the last time you guys hear our big block until it ultimately goes into the charger. Mm. And then next up on the run stand is going to be our Pontiac 400. Yeah, we got that Pontiac motor right over there in the corner. We're going to put that onto this engine run stand and run it here in the shop. Hopefully no leaks. Okay, first thing, we gotta move these cars out of our way so we can get this big block through here. This looks so bad. What? The stand. Bad, like bad to the bone? Or like bad as in janky? I don't know, like just like. <laughs> what? It's just, uh, I don't know, I feel like we're gonna get roasted. No, this is like genius. Is it pretty tight? Yeah. Tighter. Tighter? Yeah. Whoa. Whoa! Lost control of handle. <laughs> okay, we got a huge water leak. Where are they coming from? Hmm. This on there. This will go in here. Well, this will go in here first. Like this. this in the there and that'll turn our water pump I don't see watch the water flowing through here oh yeah so we'll cycle it through to get all the air out and the reason uh, I came up with this little concoction is because we don't have any way to turn our water pump right now because the belt that goes to the water pump also goes to the power steering pump and we can't run the power steering pump because we can't have fluid in it right now so mm -hmm. Don't worry about it. This works. <laughs> All right, what else? A little bit more water. If you thought that was ghetto, wait till you see our fan set up. Oh yeah. So, we got our cap on, we got our coolant overflow tank there. We got our cooling fan. <laughs> you got the battery hooked up? Yeah. Okay, so. Needs gas pretty and. Pretty much, it's ready to start. Ignition. All right, let's okay. let them hear what it sounds like with the new yeah. mufflers.
180 now. Okay, go ahead. How's it looking? It's dry. Bone dry? Thank goodness. Oh, yes. Okay, so that's almost the second tank of fuel we ran through here and not even a sign of a oil drop. Nice. So, that's good news. So we're gonna take this off of here and we're gonna put the 400 Pontiac motor on here. Cool. Yay. We've taken this thing on and off of this engine stand four or five times. Easily. Yeah. <laughs> but it's so nice to know that this rear main seal is not leaking a drop and it's running good. So it's ready for the dyno. Heck but yeah. first we're gonna put that 400 cubic inch motor on here. Okay, let's take this off and see what we got. Let's see how dry it really is. I'd say that's about as dry as it gets. Is it bone dry? <laughs> oh, thank goodness. It's the fell pro. Okay, we won't be calling it Fail Pro anymore. The mighty Fell Pro. This thing is so heavy. And do, do you it think it's heavier than the four? 40? Yeah, I don't know, but this reminds me of why I like don't put these in cars. Ooh. Holy heck. Oh, this wheel is not even. Oh, is it the wheel? In the right direction. Okay, there we go. That might be helping. There you. we go. Okay. <laughs> Hoped a little bit. No. Hang on. Hold on, let me go this way. We're struggling, we're struggling. Struggle strip. <laughs> right there. Where's that tire at? Okay, keep going. Keep going right there. All right, let me go grab the tire. Okay. Where's that dirt nasty tire? Oh, geez, this tire is so heavy. Why is this tire so heavy? It's not even that big. Goodness, what is this? It's a steel tire. <laughs> oh my goodness. Get in there. Oh my. Make it fit. All right. <laughs> Lower the globe. Hold it there. Hey, if this thing runs really good, we might be putting one of these in, back in your car. Hell no. Too heavy. My whole car is gonna go like this. Yeah, but these <laughs> things make a lot of torque. They might, it might make more torque than your your 6.0. For a hot Pontiac, probably make more power, more torque, but not as uh, cheap and reliable. reliable, but or fuel efficient. Mm-hmm. Whoa. It's all right, I just skipped it. It's fine. Sure? Yeah, it's just doing chain thing. So before we even bother hooking this thing up to the engine run stand, we're going to pressurize it. Um, we're just gonna run about like one 
PSI of uh, pressure through it just to make sure there's no like major leaks. Cause what's the point in even like putting it on there if it's leaking and it has to come off. So I'm gonna do that right now. And if it's all clear, then it goes to the run stand. That's right, it's gotta pass this first test. We got this here leak detector. And you wanna open that? Just a little guy. Here it is. You can see how much smoke comes out of here. So what we're gonna do is pressurize the crankcase by taping off the valve covers and putting this into the dipstick tube. And this thing will actually pressurize to about five PSI, I think. Let's see. Wow. No, it'll go higher than that. See the gauge? Yeah. But we won't go higher than like one or two PSI. Right. And it really, it probably can't go that high either because if you think about it, it's going into the crankcase and then the pistons, the rings are not like perfect sealed, right? They got gaps. So it can come out through there and then find its way out through the spark plugs. But there will be enough pressure to see air bubbles yeah, on the back side of the rear main seal. We got leak soap right here. We're just gonna squirt it back here. This is like a really thick soap. So it bubbles up really well. I use this to find refrigeration leaks. Please don't be a problem. <laughs> okay, we weren't pressurizing. We saw some smoke coming out through here. So we gotta cover that up. This is, I think, the only tape we have, but. Okay, we got this thing pressurized now to about one PSI, and we don't see any leaks. All right, the engine passed the smoke test, so it's time to put it on the engine stand. All right, so here is the Pontiac on the run stand. And while we won't be running it for a little bit, we're waiting on some parts. Um, we wanted you guys to leave your guesses in the comments as to what you think this combo makes. So it's a 400 cubic inch Pontiac from 69. Um, it's got now an Edelbrock performer intake, so an aluminum intake. It's got a near stock roller cam and it has the factory 6.2 heads on it. Yeah, these, these are supposed to be the high compression heads from 69. Mm hmm So, yeah. What do you guys think it makes? All right, I think this is the address. Let's go see. Aloha, ma'am. Hello. I heard you got some hot rods and stuff for sale on Facebook Marketplace. Yes, I do. Come on in. All right. Wow. I like it a lot. We actually got some other stuff for sale too, if you're interested. Oh, what you got, man? Well, we have these Ooh. gnarly speed shop hats right here. We also have some t-shirts and hoodies. And if you buy any of these items, you're gonna get an old issue of Hot Rod Magazine included in your order. Where'd you get these Hot Rod Magazines from? Well, these are from my little collection and they're all hand selected. So these are all 50s and 60s. Really, really cool history pieces right here. Okay, so if they get one of these shirts, one of these hats or one of those hoodies, they're gonna be getting a free Hot Rod magazine in there from the 60s and 50s? Yep, while supplies last. So. All right. Well, ma'am, that's a great deal you got going on here today, but I'm here to buy something much bigger. Heard you got a Hot Rod for sale somewhere inside this shop. I do. So, let me, let me take you back there and show you. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Okay, all right. Yep, so this well, is- This one's nice here. What year is this one? This is a 1956 Chevrolet. Okay, no, I'm looking for something a little more classy. Classy? Yeah, I see this thing's got some wear and tear on it. And I don't know if I need uh, all that space for luggage. You know what, you wanna talk classy? How about a 1956 Chevy Gasser? Here we go, now this is more my speed. <laughs> But uh, <clears throat> what kind of transmission has this thing got in it? It's got a uh, old school four speed. Four speed? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, you know, unfortunately I can't drive stick shift. Nurse gurning. All right, what else you got around here? How about that car over there in the back corner? Uh, in the back corner, uh, we are not looking at that because, <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> we actually bought that a few months ago and we've been trying to hide it but there's no hiding it in this shop. So you guys will see that in a few months. Can so. you give us a little hint at least? It is bad to the bone. That's all I'm gonna say. And why can't we just show them now? Uh, because we're working on our Dodge Charger and we also have the Chevelle in the works. So too many projects, let's we'll just stay focused and then we'll get to that one. But uh, okay. I have one more option for you right here in the back. <clears throat> This is classy. Ooh. Now this is nice. Yes. So this is a 1956 Chevy <laughs> known as Grease Lightning. And this is about as reliable as they come. It's got a uh, 5.3 LS under the hood, a 4L60 transmission, cruising gears. How's the headliner? Oh, it is. Oh, that's nice. Flawless. That is cool. Well, I like the interior on this car. Yeah. Forgot how nice it was. I know. It's really It's cool. been probably two months since we've even started it up. I know. That's so not we good. should probably do that. We get it and pull it out. <clears throat> Side so, you know, I can test drive it. Make sure everything's working. Okay. <laughs> Let me see. So. Oh. What? Oh no. I thought, ma'am, I thought you said this was the most reliable wait, car you got wait, in the fleet. Wait, 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 wait. It's never done that. Hang on a second. <laughs> well, it has been sitting for two months. Did we disconnect the battery? Shoot. I don't. Oh, no, we did not. Uh, okay, that's unfortunate. The good news is Hank's battery right here is right next to this battery, so we can just jump it. Okay, let me get the keys for this one. Oh, is it the round one or? Let's see. It's... Like for the trunk? This one. This one. Oh, I forgot There's we got other. more merch back here. I know. <laughs> Okay, let me run and grab those uh, cables. Okay. You got it hooked up right? Red. Yeah, that's right. It's just really dead. We might have to start up Hank too, because you know what, Hank hasn't started for a while, but he's got a battery isolator, so the battery in theory should be good. But do you want to start him up? Sure. This is a real problem, you know, when you got these beautiful hot rods and you just don't drive them that much. <laughs> well, you know what? To our defense, it's been raining a lot. A ton. We do drive. <clears throat> Fire in the hole! I need to pull this out. There you go. Yep. Come on, Hanky. Yeah. Oh!
Oh my gosh, we might die in here. We got it running. Uh, does it do this all the time? No, and we've never left it for like two months, so. Well, it sounds pretty good. Okay, let's see how Duke's battery is holding up. Go ahead. Come on, Duke. Come on, boy. Come on. Uh, Hang on. Might be fuel up to the carb now, so maybe just give him a couple pumps. Okay. All right, try it again. Oh, oh. almost. Don't pump it. Okay. Go. My poor Duke. <laughs> These carbureted cars. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's kind of funny. All the carbureted cars started right up and Less fuel injection. Stuff to go wrong. Yay, Duke. Oh my gosh, Duke. Put them in park. And then can you just give them some throttle for a little bit to get that oil sloshing around in there to oil up the cam and hold it up a little higher. Almost like you're breaking in a motor. And then once it gets warm, we'll just let them idle here. Get to all charged up. You want to pull out Hank? All right, Hank. I didn't know how to drive stick. It's a little smoky in here. Ooh. Yeah, guys, if you uh, order some merchandise and it smells like exhaust fumes, you'll know why. Jeez, ma'am, you gonna sell it to me on empty like that? Uh, yeah. <laughs> you better gas up on your way home. Gas is too expensive these days to be throwing that in, thinking you're going to get a deal. Uh, let's take another gander at it here. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> hey. You know. Who built this jalopy? It's going to need paint. How's the rust? Uh, no solid rest. car, California car. It's a solid California car. This is a uh, fresh paint. I don't know. Well, go mm. sit in the driver's seat and get a, you know, feel for it. <clears throat> Summer's here. Need me a good looking hot rod. You know what I mean? Will this thing make it to the PCH? Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Seat works. Goes in. Okay. What kind of fuel economy did we get out of this hog? Um, a little over uh, 20 miles to gallon. Okay, got good oil pressure. Left me with no fuel, but. Um. Hey! Hey, 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 hey! Easy! You haven't bought this thing yet. Does it always sound like that? Yeah. You just give it to people's cars? How much you got to get for this $5,000 car? Mm. Does it come with a free magazine? Does you know it, what? Does I'm it not, always sound like that? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not selling it to you. Get out of my car. Does it come with a free magazine? No. Come oh, on. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. All jokes aside. All jokes aside, we have to sell Grease Lightning because we just have too many cars right now. And this is the car that's the least of our style i'll say it that way yeah. um you know we built this car as a rental car and it was successful but getting insurance for it was 
not successful. Nobody would insure us for it. And I always felt like when somebody took it on a rental, they were going to bring it back, smashed up, and I wasn't going to get my money out of the deal. So um, this one's up for sale. It's a good car. It's really reliable. It gets about 24 miles to the gallon from here to Las Vegas. And uh, come and get it. Yeah. So we're sad to see Greece have to go because like I said, it's been like one of our most reliable cars in the fleet and it ultimately inspired me to build my Pontiac Tempest, you know, with all the luxuries. But yeah, just too many cars. We don't drive this one and uh, the rental business didn't work out as planned. So. Oh, you got a sound system in here too? Yeah. Would you look at that? Look at that. Who did that wiring? <laughs> Who did that wiring job? Did you know that this car was in a music video for Machine Gun Kelly? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? You know what, Machine Gun Kelly, he spilled blood all in the trunk of this car, actually. There's still a little bit in there, like not real blood, the fake blood, for one of his music videos, G, F, Y, yeah e, what is it the gfy yeah this is um this is like the murder car in the music video and um anyway there's some people in the back and there was blood spilled but i think they cleaned it up partially and they paid us for it too so yeah <laughs> but anyhow that is oh, grease lightning we got some new merch in. So we restocked some of our more popular items like the black and white t-shirts and we have zip up hoodies cause summer's coming up. We also got triple XL sizes. So if you've been waiting on those, we have them. But we're really excited about a new shirt that we're bringing to the website. So, you know, we have our traditional gnarly speed with the gold, which is stunning. And let's see if I can find it in here. It's got to be in there somewhere. I saw it. There it is. Oh, those look so cool. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Wow. What is that? Triple XL? It's a big one. It's a XL. That's cool. Whoa. Hold it this way so you can see in the light. Oh, that's pretty badass. Wow. That looks so good. Let me see the other side. Oh. <laughs> That's much better than I thought. Wow, so, that looks so much better than I even expected. I know. So our guy, Chris, at uh, CNC Screen Printing, we told him we wanted like a vintage, like glittery blue. Think like the moon eyes steering wheels and the shifter balls. We wanted that sort of look and that is unreal. Do you see that glitter? Yeah, that looks so cool. I can't wait. Oh my gosh. Dang. So <laughs> anyway, these are going to be hitting the website today. So if you want one, uh, head over to gnarlyspeedshop.com. And uh, you know what? We'll throw in a magazine if you guys get yourself one of these. We'll throw one in. So. I Here like it. it. Very good. Sweet. Very happy. Yeah. Anyway, uh, we got a lot of work to do today, so we're going to get back to it, and we will see you guys next week.